Hi, good morning. Today is the 9th of November and welcome to our meditation on grace. I would like to read again verse 12 of chapter 1 of Ephesians. In order that we, who were the first to hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. So Paul uh, told us in verse 4 that God chose us before the foundation of the world. And then in verse 10, he told us that one day uh, he would put in effect, uh, I'm going to read verse 10, to be put into effect when the times will reach, have reached their full fulfillment, to bring all things to he in heaven and on earth together under one head, even Christ. So some people call this the future, the eternity future. And then the other one, verse 4, eternity past. So in this so-called eternity past, God chose us in Christ. And then in the second one, he's coming back to, to be the king of kings and the lords of, lords of all creation. And everything will be, um, will be uh, brought together under one head, Christ. So what are we going to do in between verse 4 and verse 10? That's the question. Verse 12 says that we should be for the glory of God. We should be for the praise of his glory. We should live for the praise of God's, uh, of the, the glory of God's grace. When Jesus talked about time, when the, the Gospels, they talk about time, they use the word keros which means that the time that belongs to God, God's time, time. Our time is the time of the four seasons of the 24 hours. This is our time. Today is the ninth. Yesterday was the eighth. Tomorrow is the tenth. But we should live in God's time, and God's time is now. Every single moment of our lives belongs to God, and we should live for him. So God has given us his grace for this time, for today, for now. So now we live depending on God's grace. So he has given us this uh, gift. Even faith is a gift that God has given us. So we could use that key to open the doors of grace, love, hope, joy. So we should live our life with God, Christ now, today. And that's, and that's what we should be doing. Because we know, known that we have been chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world. And knowing that we are going to be there with him when he comes back. We should be living a holy life today. Filled with his love. Filled with his grace. And, uh, and then... We will understand that we are for, for his praise. For We live for his glory, to praise him forever. But we live this forever now, today, as we go out to work or to school, or as we stay home because we are in lockdown. When we go for a walk, when we go to the restaurant, when we meet with friends, we are always living in the eternal time of God. All the time. God bless you today.